Okay, so we're pulling into Truckee now, which is a little pit stop. Uh, how are we doing on diesel? I think we should be good. We're going to keep on moving. Uh, but we have 290 miles left, which actually isn't that bad. We started off with 600, so we're about halfway there already. Uh, we have another 7 hours and 25 minutes to complete the job. And uh, still going to get $21,000. 1% damage on the trailer, or on the truck, just from uh, the wear and tear on the tires. Um, we need to kind of get around. Oh, no, I think we entered California, didn't we? Yeah, I'm pretty sure we had, yep, we entered California because it's now 55 on the speedometer. So, can't go over that. But we made up some good time while we could in Nevada, but, you know, here in California, it's 55. We might be able to get away with 60, but we need to uh, keep putting the hammer down. Santa Cruz is a, is a good little distance because we're going to have to drive through Sacramento, which is going to suck. I'm really not a fan of driving through Sacramento. I think we might might even have to drive through Stockton too, which again sucks because you just you hit lights. That's the biggest problem, is you actually go through the city sometimes, and uh, you hit lights. We might be able to get through Sacramento without stopping in the city though, but Stockton, no, you're definitely in the city. Um, we're gonna stay in this lane just because I know that we have a interchange coming up. We want to head what? Five West is where we're going, I believe, because we're currently on the 80 E. Uh, where are we? 80 South, I believe, is what we're doing. Uh, possibly. It doesn't really seem South. It seems West, but then I'm going to get on the 5 West. Or is that just the way that... Yeah, I'm I don't know. Let's just look <laughs> real quick. Oh, so we're on the 80 West. We're going to get on the 5 South. That makes sense. Okay. I couldn't really figure it out. I was like, what the heck are we doing right now? So yeah, I also downloaded a uh, Freightliner Cascadia mod, uh, truck mod. Um, my favorite truck, like I've mentioned many times before. Uh, it's the same one that was from ETS2, but it's been updated quite a bit. And Jeff was saying it's actually not that bad. I thought about giving it a shot. I still might, just because there is a thing about some modded trucks where it can actually improve your frame rate while inside the vehicle. Um, but because the standard trucks that the developers make can be pretty intense with detail, and when you get a modded truck, it could, uh, God, my headlights seem really bright. And um, when you get a modded truck, it could, uh, it could help out with performance a little bit just because there's not so much detail and it's kind of made in a different way. So I might actually give that Freightliner Cascadia a shot. I don't really want to mess up what we're doing now with like trying to get a Kenworth W900, but let me know in the comments if you're interested in seeing me drive a, a modded truck like the Freightliner Cascadia, because I'll throw it in. Maybe we can use that until we get our W900 or something like that. I mean, I don't know. It does replace the Peterbilt, I believe. So I could look into it. I think it would be cool to drive something else. It might actually help with the performance. Because um, that's what Jeff was saying. Jeff was saying he gets great performance with the truck. So we'll see. Because, you know, I can get bad performance. And then I can jump out into interior or exterior cam like this. And the, it's pin 60. And it's fine. And it looks good. But as soon as I get back in the cab, it starts to kind of decline performance. So I don't know. If I can get a nice truck that doesn't have that problem, that would be great. Okay, we're leaving Sacramento. We're going to set a cruise control for 60. We're going to try to cruise 5 over. We should be good with that realistic police mod in. And uh, we'll just cruise our way down the 5. And we are going to have to go through Stockton. I hate going through Stockton. Or not. We might be able to bypass Stockton real quick. Like, I would hope so. Because there's been times... When we, yeah, I think we're just going to bypass it. Thank God. There's been times where I've... I had to go through Stockton. I have to go through Stockton so many times, and I hate it because you're just on this road with a bunch of lights, and you got a bunch of traffic, and you just can't get through it. It's just annoying. It really is. Um, yeah. So much going on right now. The Monday, which is uh, busy. Tuesdays are also busy, and Wednesdays are also busy. Thursdays, busy. Uh, Fridays, though, uh, not so busy. But Mondays are just uh, kind of the beginning of the week. 
Mondays always tend to kind of punch you in the face a little bit because like most people, I like to take the weekends off. And when I take the weekends off, I don't really do much in terms of videos. Um, so Monday is the day that I kind of get myself prepared for the week, start working on a bunch of things that I need to do, start doing my normal schedule stuff. And uh, Mondays are also a day that, yeah, just like everybody else, you got to get punched in the face with work. You start to realize everything that you need to do. And um, I did not want to wake up, I will admit. I was so tired. I just wanted to sleep forever. But, you know, I really wanted to... Uh, I went through with L LSPDFR. I know this is totally random and pointless, but... I went through with LSPDFR and changed up all the vehicles. Finally got some vehicles in there that I was having trouble uh, getting to work. They would crash my... Uh, not not really crash my trainer, but they would just never spawn. They were too uh, high poly, but I was actually using a 4K resolution textures, which would just totally destroy the car and would not allow it to spawn. So it turns out that I was using too high textures and the, the car just could not do it. We need to start slowing down because this guy is on the nose 55 right now. I wonder if we can see if we can get around this guy since he appears to be... Oh, he's turning off. Good. Appreciate it. Why is my cruise control not engaged? Uh, let's go ahead and downshift a little bit. Try to get that speed back. Back up to 60. But yeah, so I went through all that, got all that done, taken care of. Um, I and shift up. We were able to jump in and finish our SAPDFR session with uh, Zach and Polcat, be able to finish off that run. We gave them 30 minutes instead of 20 this time because we felt like, you know, took a little longer to be able to get that done because literally right after we had that problem with uh, SAPDFR or GTA crashing in the middle of our SAPDFR, um, uh, Zach's, Zach's drive went so we had to kind of wait for him to kind of build up his drive again and get recordable or record ready and then uh, we were able to jump in there and finish that so I'm glad we were able to finish that that was nice, that was a lot of fun we enjoyed it and uh, then I worked on doing the LSPDFR vehicles a little bit now I'm here and then after this I have to edit all the GTA that we did earlier I have to edit the American Truck Sim we did earlier and I have to upload it all um, so, yeah, Monday's typical busy Monday day. Kind of just what happens, but... <sighs> it's nice to kind of take a minute, even though I am... I'm not... I, I don't really consider recording part of the job or work, really. I just... Recording to me is kind of... It's just... There's not work involved, really, in, in it. The very simple process. Where are we actually turning on to right now? I'm sorry, what? What the heck is this stuff? What road is this? This is not a road. Are you serious? Is there somebody, anybody behind us? No, that's weird. Why are we on this desolate road by ourselves? Huh, what's the speed limit? 55? That doesn't seem right at all. This is weird. Huh. Very little tiny country road or something going on here. This is weird. But, um, like I said, I don't really consider recording part of the job. It's all the stuff that happens kind of behind the scenes that I consider the work. But it's just, it's just nice that in the middle of the day, you can kind of take a break and relax. Or I can take a break and relax and play some American Truck Sim, which I've been kind of itching to play. And I also... I recently bought the new Hitman, and uh, I actually thought about recording it. I, I was going to actually put a couple videos out on it. Uh, the only thing that discouraged me from doing it was that I decided to get a feel for it and, compl and play the first mission. So I went through the training exercises that they give you, like the tutorial. Then I went in to play the first mission, played it, enjoyed it, was really enjoying the game, was really wanting to play the game more, decided to stop come back the next day so I can kind of think about if I want to start recording this and I decide to take a look at what the next mission is going to be well there is no next mission which is very strange so I was like what's going on there so I looked into it and it turns out that the new Hitman game they're releasing it it's episodic they're releasing 
episodes or missions, you know, every couple of months or weeks or whatever their agenda is. But not all the missions are available at release. So, I got to admit, I'm kind of annoyed. I know some people aren't, and they can wait. And I understand that other game companies have done that in the past. A good example is, you know, uh, The Walking Dead. Episodic. Makes sense. The thing is, I've never really played Hitman for the storyline. I understand there is a storyline there, and I understand that people really do like the Hitman game and movie. You know, they really do like all that stuff. Um, I do enjoy it, but I never really got into it because of the specific storyline. I really just liked, especially the games, I really just liked the games because I could play and figure it out. Um, so the storyline never really meant much to me. Um, and the fact that I paid $60 and I was able to play four missions, with three of those being tutorial missions, and pretty much one of them being the actual mission... Um, I'm not that happy because I really don't want, I don't, I don't need suspense to be built up in between these missions or these storyline things that they're attempting to, to do. Uh, you know, it, it's just, it's unnecessary. What I want is just to be able to play the game. And I know some people will agree with me and some people won't. That's just what happens. But, um, I don't know. I just don't, it's not that big of a deal to me to I mean I don't want to wait I just want to be able to play Hitman I want to be able to do the missions I want to be able to complete things that's all I really want to do so I don't know I was a little annoyed after spending the amount of money that I did that I pretty much got four missions and now I have to wait and honestly with how crazy you know things get I probably won't even realize that the next missions are released unless I'm get I get some sort of notification or I just happen to see that Hitman's been updated or some something. I don't know. I'm not really sure. Uh we're already here, which is like insane. Um real quick before we go drop our trailer off, since we have the time, might have helped if I had actually shifted there. Since we have the time, we have what, how many we got 18 hours to complete the job, so we're a little bit ahead of schedule. I'm just going to get in and get some diesel real quick, since there's a fuel station right here. So we're just going to pull in and fuel up. I want you guys to hear the uh, the new fuel sounds. They're pretty interesting. It's a very long sound clip, I will say that. All right. So, engine off. We'll bring up the menu. So just listen closely. Also, it's not done. When I release the button, it'll still play for a little bit. And you gotta listen closely to what it's doing. So, what I hear is the filling happening. He's putting the tank, he's putting the pump back, he's closing the cap, he's opening the door, he's getting in. Puts the key in the ignition and starts to turn it. That's what I hear, all from just that one clip of plane of filling up. So I don't know. It's interesting. I think it might be a little bit much too at the same time, but I don't hate it at all. I mean, I do think it might just be like there's a lot of noises happening just for filling up your tank. But like I said, I don't hate it. It's actually pretty good. It's nice to just have something different. So. I don't know. They added a lot of changes to a lot of things. Also, the blinkers are a little bit different. Because you have that initial bah, that, like loud crack of when you actually flick the turn signal. Oh, God. I, I know this entrance. So we're dropping off these Peterbilt trucks at a car dealership, which is strange. Watch the trailer. There we go. Made it through okay. Parking lights. Put the hazards on. We'll get ready to park this thing. Uh, this is going to be a bitch, isn't it? This is going to be a bitch. I can tell you right now. Um, hmm. Okay. I might 
but this fucking dumpster in the way. I was going to say I might not have to go in blind, but I'm, I'm going to have to cut the absolute shit out of it, though. This is so not going to happen. All right, we're giving this a shot. So here's my dilemma. Before I put it in reverse, here's my dilemma. We have this dumpster on this side. We have another dumpster that's just right there. Not even sure why you would even leave that there in a truck yard. And then we have to somehow turn this trailer as sharp as we possibly can without hitting this dumpster over here. Which I think we're just going to smack right into it, aren't we? But it seems like... Ooh, it's close. There we go. Around the dumpster. So we gotta, look, I can't even turn this trailer that sharply. Oh, we just hit something. What do we hit? Hold on, get out and look. Get out and look. Did we hit the trailer? Yep, we hit a freaking pole that I couldn't see. How, uh, I'm gonna have to blind it. I'm gonna have to blindside it in. That's my only option. Because these people at these truck yards leave garbage all over the place. I'm sorry, but if I was delivering here, if they told me Bay Door, what is that? Two? They told me Bay Door Two when I saw that big ass dumpster there, I'd be like, uh, no. You move that dumpster and then I'll park there. Because I'm not doing some non legit turnaround here to fucking. Which they would probably tell me to go do something if I told them to move that dumpster. I highly doubt they would actually do it, but I mean, come on. You actually want me to get this trailer in properly and not damaged? Help me out. Help me out with parking. Okay. So we're going to have to blind it in. Blindside it in, which is unfortunately... Blind it in, by the way. What does that mean? Uh... I don't know if we're ready yet. I'm a little bit concerned. Maybe now. Maybe now. Go, 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 go now. There we go. I was concerned about this pole that I bumped into last time because I knew it stuck out a lot farther than the, uh, than those boxes. Woo! Getting it close to that pole. God damn. Okay. All right. Just keep it. Okay. Then we're going to have to go back this way. Go ahead and check how close we are to the wall. We're going to start getting pretty... Oh, we're pretty close right there. Okay. I don't want to go any further back. I do want to straighten out, though, because we were a little bit over. Okay. All right, now. Crank it. Crank it. All right, we don't want to go any further back. I am liking that. We're pretty lined up. Okay, let's go back until right. Mm, there, perfect. All right, turn the flashers off, put the parking brake on. Let's take a look at our park job real quick. I like that. I think that's pretty good. A little bit crooked, a little on the line, but... With what we can do, I think that's pretty good. Let's go ahead and drop the trailer here real quick. So we got excellent job, 618 miles, 13 hours and 36 minutes. We consumed 75 gallons of fuel and we got $21,674 and 714 XP and we are a rank 15. Um, I did go ahead and spend a skill, two skill points on fuel economy just because it, it's uh, something that is really starting to bite me in the ass with having a day cab is how much I have to fuel up so we will possibly be looking into a sleeper eventually like i said if you guys want to see me use that modded truck that i was talking about it's a freightliner cascadia definitely let me know maybe we could use that until we get enough money to uh get the kenworth w900 which i'm estimating we're gonna need about 140,000 for like a base one with well not a base but with the base options with a good engine and transmission 18 speed all that stuff i don't want to spend the money on the base one just upgrade it so we're looking at about 140,000 
So we need about a hundred thousand more dollars. If we can keep taking really long runs with a really good price tag like we just did, it shouldn't take too much longer. But I'm gonna play a little bit off camera before I decide more about like what truck we want to buy or what we want to run or anything. If you want to see the Kenworth or the Freightliner, let me know and uh, we'll go from there. But I just want to thank you guys for watching. Remember to check the description for all the mods I'm using. Hit the like button; it really does help me out. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.